Samsung, proud sponsor of Techbusters. The hypodermic needle. Invented in 1853, it's one of the oldest pieces of medical technology around. Liquid is drawn into it to be injected directly into the body. But after almost 160 years of technological advancement, the needle remains almost exactly the same. And new research suggests that it may have missed its mark completely. The needles, the, the way the vaccines, most, at least most vaccines are delivered, and it's been around for an awful long time and it's barely changed. And it puts vaccine into muscle, but what's been discovered is the skin is the place to put vaccines. The skin is abundant with the immune cells. And the needle misses that altogether, but it's holding back vaccines as a result of that. And so I've invented a, a new way of tapping into that potential of the skin and call it the nano patch. The World Health Organization estimates that up to half of Africa's vaccines do not perform at their maximum because at some point in their lifespan, they were not kept cold enough. The nano patch solves this problem. Within it are thousands of projections of dry-coated vaccines, which means when applied to the skin, the drug goes straight to the cells. To the naked eye, it just looks like a, a square, uh, like a, a postage stamp. But if you looked under a microscope, you'd see thousands of tiny little uh, projections. So for the human device, it could be even far more than uh, 4,000 uh, projections. For the mouse uh, device, that was the case. And uh, so that's, that's the kind of core of, of the idea. And it's a mechanical interaction of the way the patch is applied to the skin. And what we found is a unique, unique combination of, of benefits. So it's needle-free, it's pain-free, but there's two other important uh, benefits that most people don't normally have a, a, a read on. And one of them is that improved immunogenicity uh, due to targeting the skin's uh, immune system, which can mean that you only need a hundredth of the dose compared to the needle and syringe. So it could radically change the way vaccines are administered, or indeed improve vaccine. The nano patch is currently undergoing usability trials in Papua New Guinea, a country the size of France with only 800 refrigerators. Nano patches can be stored at 23 degrees Celsius for a year with no loss of function. There's a company that I founded called Vaxis and, and we've partnered with uh, uh, arguably the world's largest vaccine manufacturer called Merck. And so we're on a, a great joint project with the next generation vaccine that uh, is, is a great interest to them and is of great interest to, to us and of great interest to the world. Uh, and that's, that's going very, very well. And um, it's important that we do that because with the nano patch, we're, a vac we're an enabling technology. We're not making vaccines, we're improving the way they work. So if we don't have a vaccine, then it's just a widget. Uh, so that's a really important part of uh, what we're doing. Africa's big three, HIV, malaria and tuberculosis, are responsible for around 7 million deaths per year on the continent. The nanopatch could drastically reduce this with safe, cheap and self-administered drug delivery. So many things around the, the needle have changed. The, the understanding of the skin, the production of, of new vaccines, all of these things are primed and, and waiting for this replacement of uh, the, the existing delivery method, one that serves in a far better way to help place vaccines at the right place at the right time, which has been uh, identified as, as being the skin. So by, by doing that with the patch, uh, a whole new set of parameters can exist within the vaccine world, and vaccines are a technology, so lower costs, improved efficacy, no needle stick injuries, uh, all manner of fresh possibilities and opportunities.